Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens in Bangkok, Thailand, and today we're taking a day trip to one of the most famous floating markets in Thailand. It's called Ampawa Floating Market, and we're gonna go pick up Mike Chen. He's another amazing food guy. He loves to eat, and he's in Thailand right now hanging out, and we're gonna give you a full <laughs> tour of Ampawa, how to get there, what to do, and most importantly, some incredibly delicious food. We're gonna eat a bunch of delicious food. So keep watching this video, a full Ampawa floating market tour guide coming up. All right, met up with Mike. We are driving on our way to Ampawa. It's located in a province called Samut Songkram, which is about an hour and a half from Bangkok. But this is a really popular floating market, especially a lot of Bangkok people go there for the weekend to eat, to hang out, to enjoy. So it's gonna be cool to go there and eat with Mike. I'm excited. I, I mean, I, I've had boat noodles that's on land. Now maybe I'll get some on, actually on a boat. All right, we just made it to Ampawa. This is one of the most famous and one of the biggest and probably one of the busiest floating markets in all of Thailand. Uh, this is an afternoon floating market, so it opens up uh, about 2 or 3 p.m. is when it really gets started and when a lot of people come here. And we are now just entering the main, one of the main alleys. There's food clustered on both sides of us. All the snacks you can imagine. You can just come here and eat nonstop. There's a lot of food to choose from. There's so many different things. So we have decided to stop for some fried fish cakes in Thai, they're called Padman. Mm -hmm. And then we also got, we were gonna order some, uh, just some fried quail eggs. They're so pretty. It's they like are. a little bouquet. And it's just so pure, man. Oh. It's just an egg. That's, oh, there's no, well, wonderful. There's some chili seasoning she put on there. I can't wait to have it. All right, so what do you want to try first? The fried fish cake? Yeah, sure, let's try the fried fish cakes. Let's do it. And these are, it's a combination of minced fish with curry paste. Mm -hmm. uh, so it has some kind of curry flavoring in it. Mm -hmm. And these are fried uh, holy basil leaves. All right. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, it's really juicy. That's three R's, and that means it's good. Wow. That is very tasty. That's delicious. That's delicious. Yeah. Airy, spongy. It's packed. You can really taste the, the, the curry paste in there. The got, red curry paste in there. You got some kick to it. Next up, we got these little quail eggs, which, you know, they caught my eye because they're so pretty. And they're sitting in this beautiful banana leaf bouquet, and uh, they just kind of looks like, I don't know, little sunflowery. Delicious-y. Yeah, a little one-biter, one-biter eggs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I love them. They taste like I fried eggs. Them. Yep. There's nothing... If you love, if you love fried eggs, there's no way you won't love fried quail eggs. Yeah, and, and, it's, and it's fried really well. So the, the yolk is not too runny, which I don't like. It's not too hard. It's a little starchy. Yeah. Um, and then you can also taste, she, she added, she sprinkled on some Salt. soy sauce, like soy yeah. sauce, and it's called Maggi sauce. I, I feel like this needs some chili, I don't know. Chili would be good. Since we happen to be sitting at a table that has some chili vinegar, yeah. we might as well make use of our resources. I mean, it's, it's a little too sour for the egg, Ooh. but... That's a jolt of sourness. Yeah, yeah. That'll wake you up. Maybe don't do that. But these fried fish cakes, these are ridiculous. I really like both of them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dare we? Mike just had the brilliant idea to combine the both snacks on one skewer. Did you get some basil in that bite, man? I'm, I'm gonna. Dude, dude. I'm gonna get some basil. Fish in there, man, fish in there. Oh, there we go. And I wanna dip the egg in that sauce. Cuter. Cucumber on the tip? Yeah, here's the innovation. Oh yeah, cheers, man. Oh. That's where it's at. That's a winner. I'm always a huge fan of, especially quail eggs. Quail eggs are wonderful, little bite-sized of just pureness. Should we try some of these? Oh, this is a This thing is called kanom pansit, and this is a this is a snack that's not all that common everywhere, mm -hmm. uh, and they're kind of like little curry puffs. They look like little dumplings. Like, yeah, just little perfect bite-sized snacks. 
ทุกคนที่นี่ไอ้มาร์ค Why is the fish The fish is like jerky Yep I think it's dried fish mm. It's good It's kind of like a cross between a dessert mm -hmm. and a savory snack It's like one of those things that's kind of sweet but it's very oniony and garlicky mm -hmm. at the same time It's good It's good I don't know if I can eat a whole bag full of those Yeah But, Me but too. it's good Me too. It's okay. I need some cheese, my cup. Yes. Okay. Then okay. we okay. share with cheese. Yes. We need cheese. Yeah, we do need to definitely try this. Mike and I are stopping for the next street food snack, and this is kind of a Thai innovative snack because it has cheese on it. So we've got scallops, and then it looks like she puts on any mayonnaise, my cup. Cheese. Oh, any cheese doing, my cup? Oh, cream cheese. Cream cheese. Oh, so there's cream cheese, and then there's fresh cheese, and then she grills them over the fire. Um, and then, yeah, they're just very, very small scallops. This is more of a modern Thai street food snack. A very modern Thai street food snack. And then she just said she's going to add on some seafood sauce. And she said we got to eat it hot and fast. So it is, it's, it's very hot in our fingers right off the grill. That cheese is all melty and oozy. All right, man, we just got to scrape it off. Let's do it. Wow. Oh. Mm. Mm. All right, mark up. Whoa. That's amazing. You are awesome. That is, that is actually awesome. It tastes like. And I got a little bit of caramelized cheese on the on the shell. That, that's that's so good, man. That's my favorite right now. You don't want any of that to go to waste. One of the best things I had this week. Wow, I mean maybe That's it's because, delicious. Yeah, maybe it's because the cheese is so gooey and good, and I'm, I'm partial to that. But that and scallops got some beautiful, sweet, clean flavor. So guys, Dude. remember, so guys, remember, Mr. Boy Scallops. Wow. Oh yeah, Mr. Boy Scallops. This market is pretty packed, though. You will, when you come here, you'll definitely be with a lot of people. It gets pretty sweaty in some of these alleys as well, but you can smell all the aromas of the food, and it's so worth it. We've been snacking for a while already, but we're only now making it to the main canal, the Ampawa Canal. And this is where the floating market happens. These are where the boats are. So right along the canal within the water, they have a number of different boats, all serving a variety of different things. They have pad thai, they have different noodles, they have different seafood, uh, just fresh seafood, which is grilled. Uh, and then they do have sort of like, almost like stadium seating, where you can, if you're lucky, you can grab a seat. It's kind of it's packed and kind of tricky to get a seat, but I think we'll be able to get a seat. We just got uh, pretty pretty much front row seats. It almost feels like you're at a sports game. And these are bleachers, and then they have all the boats serving food. But when Mike and I are ordering together, I think we got every seafood that is visible. We got the jumbo prawns, we got squid, we got crab, and we got a whole fish. Yeah, well, you, can't, you don't want any food regrets, you know? You want to oh, no. get everything you can. You rather get too much than too little. You want to get everything you see. Yeah, otherwise you, you're like, oh man, I wish I got that fish the other day. Fish. Oh, I totally forgot about the fish, oh, man. Up and gob. This is bad. We, we don't have any square space of oh, table left. God. This is an experience that I, I, I needed to have in Thailand. What do you want to begin with? Uh, I think we should do the calamari because that's what the fly oh, is yeah. attacking the most. All right, let's do it. Yeah. And they've grilled this squid up. You can see it on the boat, just the big pieces of squid. And what's yeah. cool about this piece of squid is that there's eggs in it. Can you see those squid eggs? It's just stuffed with eggs. Oh All right, so dip it in the sauce. All right, secret right, sauce, dipping. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. 
Whoa. It's like a little bit leathery in texture, yeah. but it's not chewy. And think, then the eggs are like almost like jellyish. Yeah, and, and they and they kind of they kind of like give you that nice because usually when you split, it's, it's like chewing a little bit of rubber. Yeah, and yeah. That's yeah. all that's in your mouth. That's the only texture you taste. But you got the nice, beautiful, soft eggs. Yeah, man. Oh, that's glorious. How about how about we get into these uh, big big bad boys here? Yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna take a, take so a these are prawn. these are yeah these are river prawns here. Actually, the heads are the heads are pretty big, but they are they are pretty decently sized. These are these are like like river monsters. So I'm gonna break this guy open, take off the head, and actually the best the best thing about eating river prawns is what's in the head. You gonna eat the head? Oh yeah, but actually you gotta like kind of. You uh -huh. can almost break off that head shell there. Uh -huh. What I like to do is tear off that outer shell uh -huh. and then just kind of suck up that head butter juices right in there. Look at that. Uh, I'm gonna take take a, take a lesson from the master here. Oh yeah, man, that's the, that's the good stuff right there. Okay, so what do we do? We just, so we just put suck some it, sauce suck on it. that? Um, you can or you can just taste the pureness of it. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. That's my first do time. Do that, man. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's almost very icky. It's shrimp pudding. It's a little bit bitter. It's a little bitter. It's awesomely good. Oh yeah, mm. sweet succulent flesh, my friend. You're so meaty. Let's let's jump on the crab. What kind of crabs oh, are yeah. these? Oh uh, yeah, like stone in Thai, it's called budam. It looks a little like stone crab. At least the claws do look yeah. a little like stone crab. Crab is one of my favorite things from the sea. Wow. Look at the size of this claw, man. Yeah, that's it's awesome. pretty decently sized. That's pretty. And they've cracked it all already, so it should be semi-easy for us to eat it all. Yeah. Look at that drumstick. And you have to just give this another dunking in the in the seafood sauce. Oh, that works like a like a mitt to scoop up some of that sauce. Oh. That's some sweet crustacean right there. Mmm. Mm. All the the like stringiness forget about it. of that crab with while being silky at the same time. That's and it fresh. is sweet. That's fresh. Mm -hmm. You can tell that's fresh. This is actually just completely fantastic. Just sitting here eating seafood with Mike, watching the boats. Crab is such a relaxing thing to eat because you can't you can't really eat it too fast. Well, you know what it is. Um, in China, we have this saying called chu uh -huh. which, which means eating for fun. Uh huh. So we, the crab is one of those foods that we mm. consider. You don't eat it to get full. You yeah. eat it to enjoy yourself, almost like as an entertainment. Oh yeah. It's a good thing we decided to get the the two crab the two crab platter. This is so sweet, man. It's really good. So sweet. And it's so me. So in Thai, this is called bap hao. And this is a, let me get a look at his face real fast. It's a, um, it's a bak pong, which is a barramundi fish. So it's, what they do is they salt crust it. They, they, they actually fill it with some herbs. Mm -hmm. There's probably some lemongrass and maybe some pandan leaves within the, the, within the, the cavity of the fish. And then they coat it in a salt, in a big like layer of salt. And then they grill it on the fire. Look at this, look how flaky the flesh is. Look how juicy that is, it just falls apart. So tender. And then you gotta give this a nice bath in the oh, in the chili 100%. sauce. 100%. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, I feel like this really does need the chili. Yeah, it does. The vinegar. It does. And that adds so much to the fish and gives it so much more flavor. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, one of my favorite things in Thailand. I eat it a lot too. And and also, not only is it good, but it's actually very very healthy. Yeah, it's just pure fish. There's no oil. Uh, there's no. Uh, yeah, it's just it's just pure fish, so and, it's very healthy. And there's no fishy flavor to it whatsoever. Whatsoever, yep. it's so clean. We also got a couple of plates of green papaya salad. This one is tambu bala, um, with crab and fermented fish sauce. This was sort of just to just to change up the flavor of the seafood. Yeah, I mean you need some something refreshing. Well, we gotta listen to our parents and eat our veggies a little bit. Yeah, that's that's pretty average actually. We just finished with that seafood feast with the view of the boats right from the boats. Uh, the seafood was was actually pretty good, but the food is not going to be the best Thai food that you have when you eat from a boat. Uh, you eat here mostly mostly for the atmosphere and the ambience and the novelty and the fun of it, which it definitely is very very fun. Uh, but the food is 
it's okay. It's okay. I think probably my favorite thing was the crab. The crab was actually really, really good. Uh, tasted quite fresh, and the meat was so, so sweet and natural and fantastic, actually. You can just grab chilies at your will. My cannot leave Thailand without trying Miang Kang. People wrapping something, I get excited. And it's it's such a colorful variety of little tiny ingredients that she chops up. There's a whole little wedge of lime, there's shallots in here, there's ginger, there's toasted coconut. Um, and then she adds the, the, like it's almost like a caramely palm sugar dressing yeah. that she puts in here to wrap it all together. And I saw peanuts in here. lime in there. That's yep. actual, did she even There's actually a wedge of lime. No, 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 you, yeah. eat the, you eat the skin and all, so wow. you can expect like a jolt of sourness, citrusiness. And we each so get a eat pepper, it, what do we do and with we're the gonna, pepper? We're gonna chase it with the chili. Chase it with the chili. Let's eat one and chase it. Okay. You want to chase it with the chili? Mm. It's like vegetarian vegetable candy, man. Whoa. This is actually really remarkable. It's, it's awesome. It's fragrant, it's sour, it's sweet, it's very it's like flavorful. And oh, we need more chilies. She has a whole lot of chilies over there. Oh, there you go. Oh, thanks, man. Red or green? I'll go green. No. It's refreshing too. It's good stuff. Yeah, that is sweet, but it's something you really have to try when you come to Thailand because that mix of flavors, that's like Thailand in a single bite. Okay, time to Thank you. You have a little thumb. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. I know this is not Thai food, Mark, but uh, I saw this and I couldn't resist. I got a little, look at this, a little thummy thing. It's a little mitt of little bite-sized ice cream cones. One of my one of my all-time goals in life is, is to eat an ice cream cone in one bite. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, no one has those goals, like seriously. But this looks delicious. I'm going to take a little green one. I'll, you can Wait, choose your flavor. flavor. I don't okay, know what I'll, this I'll, is. Go, I'll go vanilla. Okay. Maybe this is vanilla. Uh, yeah, look at this. A little bite-sized. Oh, this is lime sorbet. sorbet. Okay, okay. Yeah. Cheers to tiny ice cream. Cheers, man. One biter? Yeah. Yep. Oh, that was funner than I thought. It is pretty cool because you like smash the entire cone yeah. as you bite down. Any any kind of malai cup? Any is taco. Oh, taco. Okay. Cup. Cup. Oh, this is kind of mokke. Right. Uh, this is this is called kind of taco, which is a uh, coconut milk custard. And then this one is more of a like an egg yolk custard. That is very pretty. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. So like the the traditional version of this snack uh -huh. is served in little, almost like bite-sized little cup cupcakes yeah. Yeah. Uh, with with banana leaves yeah. wrapped in. So they've kind of made this kind of trendy, but this kind is of beautiful. beautiful. It this is, is nice, and it's cool that you get to keep the, the clay pot. That's as well. that's what's really awesome about this is that look and this. Yo, this is something you'll buy in the U.S. like, you know, at, at, at a store. What's the, what's the rest of? I have no, no idea. No one knows. <laughs> Are you getting some random pink stuff? I'm getting random pink. Yeah. I'm oh. getting... Oh, there's... On there's, the bottom there's green. Oh. What is this green Me stuff? Who? There's um, the tapioca on the bottom. Oh. Tapioca and corn. Whoa, look at the tapioca Whoa, bubbles. You keep, you keep digging further and you get new things. This is like an iceberg. Most of what you don't see is on the bottom. Oh, yeah, there's, look at the layers to that. This is beautiful. I like it. I'll tell it's you sweet. what, I like it. It is I, good. I wasn't so sure in the first couple bites when you're chewing it because uh -huh. you get the corn that's kind of salty. And they also add a lot of salt to the actual coconut. Yeah. Because that brings out the flavor of the coconut. Yeah. And I, I think this is something also that it gets better as you chew it. And there's also little pieces of, within the bottom there, there's corn and taro. Oh, there's I just saw the taro. Like, like little starchy pieces of taro oh, in there. That's crazy. Like A lot going on. There's, there's a tons of stuff going on here. I mean, I'm almost expecting to find like a prawn down here. <laughs> but Oh man. That would be a lucky bite. <laughs> Look at this. I would love that bite. A little a bit of a different texture, a little crunch. Mm. I got a bunch of taro in that bite. Mm. This is really good. Okay. 
We found some horseshoe crab salad. Yeah. Uh, in Thai, it's called Yam Kai Meng Da. Uh, you can't really eat the, the actual crab because it's rock hard shell. It's like a, it's like a prehistoric looking creature. Uh, but what you eat are the eggs from the from the backside, and then I, they mix it with green mango. I see and, these on beaches all the time, like all the time. <laughs> And, and okay, so they're not edible in terms of their own flesh. Yeah, grab one of those nuggets on the side there. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to actually avoid. It's like, uh, can I get a, like just a little sampler of the eggs? Dinosaur, think dinosaur. I love it. I have no idea what I just ate. They're almost like, like they're, highly concentrated egg yolks. It's just like beans to me, like. They're really condensed, mm -hmm. really like almost chalky, yeah, and kind of yolky. This is not my favorite. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I think I'm stopping at one. I mean, oh, this man. is. I really love it. I was really hoping to eat the crab meat. I mean, I was hoping <laughs> like you crack this open and there's some like untold sweet succulent tender crab meat that I didn't know existed, and I just discovered like a new wonderful crab. But We have been eating all afternoon and that was a lot of fun. What did you think about the floating market, Mike? Well, I love the food, first of all, and actually just oh, being yeah. able to see it because I never saw it before. I heard uh -huh. concepts of it. I've seen pictures, never seen it in person. And yeah. it was a great experience. So thank you so much for showing me around. Big thank you to Mike for, for hanging out and eating. Uh, he is strictly dumpling on YouTube and I'll leave his link in the description box. Go check out his awesome food videos and I want to say a big thank you to you for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Would love to hear from you in the comment section below. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now for lots more food and travel videos. Goodbye from Ampawa, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you again for watching. See you later.